Well, hello everyone. Well, even I'm embarrassed about coming back with another video quite so quickly. But I didn't expect to be given permission to buy the EGML Damon's Hall Aerodrome software from Orbix. Uh, their website says, Damon's Hall Aerodrome is a small but feature-rich airfield which features realistic vegetation delivering the most realistic rural environment possible. It's located two nautical miles south of Upminster in London. Uh, the airfield boasts around 100 acres of grassland and the ground, ground poly is hand textured to 2 cm per pixel, which creates a hyper-realistic flight environment. Well, I could certainly agree that the uh, textures are up to Orbit's usual standards. They are absolutely fantastic. So you see me backing out here, which obviously isn't the right thing to do, but just wanted to give a nice view of the area. Um, they've done a fantastic job again of the uh, airfield buildings, the low down shrubs, I'm going to say, and bushes and that for us helicopter pilots. Uh, we need that to give the realistic view of height and everything else. Some of the buildings look a little bit, I don't know, sharp. It'd be lovely if they could soften the edges slightly so they didn't quite look so, um, uh, I'm going to say, just dropped in as a, a soft, a softer edge would help. Uh, but this little airfield looks great and it's one that I didn't know was there. We go over the bridge here quite often and uh, never seen it, never seen any planes taken off from it. So good on them for picking again another local uh, airfield which is absolutely ideal for helicopter pilots and small planes. Um, here you see us flying off over the, uh, the scenery heading out from the airfield. There's a large car park and they've managed to put in the usual thing, cars and the occasional people which look great. But it's really the textures in the fields and the fact that when you're flying around it looks like tractors have been everywhere or a field has been used or it's been um, let's say uh, turned over for for grass or something like that you know it really does look very very good as you approach in and certainly here the car park fantastic and I've jumped forward a little bit there's uh, obviously some old buildings here and people where they keep storage units and we swim around here and have a look and it's the details like you can see there's a hole in the roof they've got some cars outside which is great but in a small airfield like this this is where probably I'm going to say amateur pilots are operating from it's the sort of place you're going to find lots of uh, uh, 40 foot containers full of spare bits um, they've managed to put in a few small aircraft here no doubt some Cessnas there's a Robinson with a uh, cover over the front screen which looks quite good and as we fly forward here if we head out right in a moment we'll head out to the main uh, airfield strip but it's got a clubhouse which we'll have a look, quick look at seems to be one of the features of all the aerodromes we've been doing recently which is that there's either a cafe or a nice clubhouse for people to sit outside and watch and uh, this one looks particularly good uh, quite realistic in in its um, appearance now flying the Cabri again this is the upgraded version which is uh, was upgraded I think last week and is even better to fly. I cannot recommend this little helicopter enough. It is an absolute joy to fly for the more experienced pilots if you want to just have something small to hop around in or if you are a beginner pilot or just starting off. Um, it really is uh, one of the best helicopters I think that's available at the moment. So we're heading off with flying over a local industrial unit on the way to the airfield to show some of the scenery that they've done. 
and it's pretty realistic for the area we drive along the motorway there quite often and this is exactly what you see and in the distance there you can see the um, the main bridge the Queen Elizabeth Bridge which we we'll head towards in a moment now I did look up the Queen Elizabeth Bridge and at one point it was one of the longest span bridges at 2.87 kilometers and carries four lanes of traffic so I didn't know that beforehand but I thought I'd drop it in and here it just shows just for a brief moment all that hovering practice in those previous videos pays off just until I get to the end here where I slightly lose it and go off a little bit to the right but then we head off towards the Queen Elizabeth Bridge and have a look Now the local scenery here, the trees and the lake, local park, all look really really good, up to their usual standard. And here we are joining the motorways leading into the Queen Elizabeth Bridge. And anyone that's been in this area, you know, knows that certainly near the bridge it's um, uh, pretty industrialized there there's there is lots of green space but there's also a lot of industrial units and uh, work going on in the area and they seem to have um, put all the buildings in in what I would say is the main places certainly that I remember coming in now once again we've got autogen uh, traffic doesn't quite match in with the bridges yet we can see here that there's um, a sort of part where it joins up and then disappears must be very difficult for them to get it to work and blend in completely but as we go over the bridge I think it's a fantastic view they've done a good job they've rendered it quite well and certainly for the small helicopters like the Capri and that um, flying around this area absolutely ideal uh, but as with any bridge of course the only reason for putting the bridge there is to fly under it so we'll have to have a quick fly underneath the bridge here And as you can see, the water texture, the edges, all blending in really nicely. And I think, well, yep, yeah, we need a bit more to get under there in time. And here's an outside view just to show going underneath. Now, if you carry on, uh, down this way you know, you'd eventually end up at City Airport it's not far away and um, in fact so uh, you can see it in the distance on a couple of the shots there the City of London and there in the background the uh, what I still call the Millennium Dome or the O2 Dome and just a bit of advertising there for wonky joystick productions don't forget to subscribe and some nice views here of the local well ground textures just showing how nice it is approaching down the runway back towards the airfield I think again fantastic job the only problem I have is that you know I live in the south and these airfields are coming up and I'm wondering what the total bill eventually for me getting all the airfields I want in the southern area is going to be. Um, it would be lovely that if uh, Orbix did something like buy so many airfields in a certain area and get a credit note against it because um, it's going to end up being quite expensive. And there, what a touchdown. All that practicing recently paid off. So again, Thank you for watching, it's only a short video, please subscribe if you can, 
and have a great week.